best. And a team like Oregon, that even though it struggled in the Pac-12 last year, uh, they're still a big-name program on the rise, like you were saying. Yeah, Oregon, obviously one of those big-name schools, one of those Power 5 schools that's starting up a lacrosse program. If you're Jacksonville, just has to fuel you even more that you lost this game last year. Just some things to watch, how they react early, because you know it's going to be all about the fast start, all about trying to get out to it's that the league. Dolphins looking to come back from a 10-8 loss on Sunday here on a Friday night. Meanwhile, Oregon making the trip out from Eugene to play a couple of games down in Florida. This Arnold in front, can't finish! Bats it back in! What a goal following her miss. Alyssa Arnold gets her first goal this year. And that's when that just puts a smile on your face right there. Bats that ball out of the air. You always see those plays in the game of lacrosse. It's always about tracking the ball into your stick and then immediately bats it right back in. Can't ask for a better awareness play and a nice highlight goal to start off the night for the Dolphins. Arnold known as a great distributor as well as a goal scorer. But there, Oregon got a little lost, and how about the presence the of mind just to start because it. McKenna Rushford is out with a concussion. Quick pass, shot, and another goal for the Dolphins. Yeah, immediately what we talked about, get out, run and shoot offense, and it goes in the back of the net again. Jacksonville off to the 2-0 start. So, Sean, right now we're seeing the tale of two games. In the last one that we saw, this would have immediately been a foul on Jacksonville. Here we see the no call. Maybe a frustration foul calling for it from one of the Ducks players, but it's kind of hard to tell. Such a change over week over week. You talk about it. It's a week over week game. You have to be prepared and ready and poised for each game. Jacksonville there seeing the immediate changes from last week's refereeing to this week. Rachel Williams nearly had it. Jacksonville keeps it. Pass in traffic looking for Kinsey. Swatted away in Casey Stevens in the right area. Kinsey! Fires and scores just like that. The Dolphins have opened it up here in the opening 10 minutes. You want your team to be packed in on defense. Right here you see the split dodge across the face. Player opens up, and there it is. Defense looking too far to one side. Quick ball movement gets it to the back door. That's where that quick dodge and score. Opening minute, but it went off the pipe. Here's a shot, and finally Oregon gets on the board. How tough of a shot is that to follow if you're a goalie? I just think you're trying to communicate with their defense right there, get everything. I believe the calls there are usually settled. Let's get into it, get into our defensive rotation. She sees the ball. She predicted where the next pass was going to go, and then Hilkoff identified that and made a great offensive play and shot the ball to the opposite pipe, and it's just so hard to reach. If you're one step out of your arc, it is impossible to get back to that pipe. I think Tisdale, kind of keeping her honest there, she was cheating it a little bit, got beat short side. Another side, draw control one by Jacksonville. Molly Brock sprints into the attacking third. I like that from Brock, getting right in there and doing similar things to what Hillcoff just did, making that defense, pack it in early, and trying to hit them with something they weren't expecting right off the draw. 